Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're giving you an inside look at the Royal Palace aboard the Disney Dream. It's an absolutely incredible, beautiful restaurant. We absolutely love it. So come take a look with us. For the bread service at Royal Palace, it is served with a warm French country bread. This was absolutely delicious and fluffy and warm. It was definitely the bread that I was tempted to eat the most of throughout the cruise. And then they served it with an olive spread, which was very similar to a tapenade, but it was very, very delicious. appetizers we did try a few different things this is the deep fried brie it's breaded and deep fried and then they serve it with an orange and cranberry chutney we had had the brie before and we know it's delicious so of course we wanted to have it again and it did not disappoint we also got the iced lobster and jumbo shrimp which was served with grilled asparagus a horseradish cream and a dill dressing so so good another one that we had had before but it wasn't this tasty this was incredible I am now realizing that we had actually had all of these appetizers before, but they are all of our favorites, so of course we got them again. This is the Gaston's Escargot Gratin A. They are actually herb marinated snails, if you don't know. It's got finely chopped mushrooms and a garlic butter. Sounds scary, but it tastes so delicious. So recommend trying this. For our entrees, we tried the lobster pasta again. It's a butter lobster and like a tomato style tarragon brandy sauce with lemon and basil. It's got uh, big chunks of lobster on top. The servers actually did give us some extra lobster, which we didn't ask for. And that was really, really nice of them. Another dish that was just beyond expectation. So, so good. And then we actually both got the Chateaubriand filet steak. If you guys know me, you know that this is my absolute favorite cruise meal. It's so perfectly cooked every time. The mashed potatoes are delicious. The green beans are so good. It's on a red wine juice sauce. And then they come around and give you bernays on the side. I usually don't even end up using it because it tastes that good. And then another favorite for me, Grand Marnier souffle. It's served with a hot, warm Grand Marnier creme anglaise. It's so good. I can't even describe how good this dish is. I absolutely love it. They used to actually punch a hole in it at the table for you, but now, of course, that some things have changed. You do it yourself, which I kind of enjoyed. It was kind of fun. We also tried the opera cake, which we hadn't tried before. We didn't even know that it was offered, but it was very good. And then we also tried a no sugar added dessert, which was actually the duo chocolate cake slice. It was served with like a layer of brownie, a truffle mousse, and then a little bit of berry cream. It's actually really good. 
I did also want to mention that after dinner, if you are lucky, you can walk out into that lobby atrium and maybe possibly see some familiar princesses out and about doing meet and greets. This was also really cool to do on the night of visiting the Royal Palace. And then we just took an opportunity to take some cool pictures around the ship. We hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog and we hope you do tap that subscription button and the notification bell because we still have more cruise vlogs coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.